hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel in this video tutorial i will show you how to fix battlefield 6 crashing crashing at a startup crashing to desktop not launching or won't launch not loading or stuck on loading screen freezing or black screen issue on pc so the first solution is to modify game launch options so try minus d3d11 or minus dx11 or minus dx12 in launch option to do so open steam go to library right click on Battlefield 6 open beta, select properties, type minus D3D11, close the tab, now launch the game and see. This solution has fixed the issue for many players, so I hope this will help. If it doesn't, then again go to properties, this time type minus DX11, close the tab, launch the game and check. If it's still not working, again go to properties, this time type minus DX12. Close the tab, launch the game and check. If it's still not working, then again go to properties and remove the command from the launch option and follow other fixes mentioned in this video. Second solution is to uninstall and reinstall EA anti-cheat. So what you have to do, go to Steam, right click on Battlefield 6 open beta, select manage browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Now open EA anti-cheat folder. Then Double click on EA Anti-Cheat Installer, click yes to allow, now click on uninstall all option. And when you see uninstall success, then close it and then launch the game from here. And when you launch the game, it will reinstall the EA Anti-Cheat. Also any third party anti-cheat software such as Faceit Anti-Cheat, then uninstall it. Now if you don't see EA anti-cheat in the game folder then in that case you can install EA anti-cheat from the EA website. So go to this official website. So this is a official EA website. Scroll down and click on EA Javelin anti-cheat installer. Now once this EA anti-cheat installer get downloaded double click on it and install the EA anti-cheat and then you can launch the game and check third solution is to allow the game exe file through control folder access and windows defender firewall so what you have to do in windows search type windows security and open it click on virus and threat protection click on manage ransomware protection click on allow an app through control folder access click yes to allow then click on add an allowed app browse all apps now browse to game installation folder, go to this PC, C drive, program x86 folder, steam folder, steam apps folder, common folder, now open glacier events folder, now here select bf6 event exe file and click open to add it to the list, again click on add an allowed app, browse all apps, now this time select ea anti cheat game service launcher exe file, click open to add it to the list, now go back. Now click on firewall and network protection then click on allow an app through firewall then click on change settings then click on allow another app and browse to game installation folder so go to this pc c drive program x86 folder open steam folder open steam apps folder open common folder open glacier event folder now select bf6 event exe file and click open to add it to the list then click on add after adding it make sure both private and public is ticked mark then again click on allow another app click on browse select ea anti cheat game service launcher exe file click open click on add then make sure both private and public is ticked mark then click on ok to save changes now you can launch the game and check this has also solved the issue for many players so i hope this will help for you for solution is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder or try running the game in compatibility mode so to do this open steam right click on battlefield 6 open beta select manage browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder now here right click on bf6 event exe file select properties 
go to compatibility tab tick mark run this program as an administrator hit apply ok then right click on ea and digit game service launcher select properties go to compatible tab tick mark run this program as an administrator hit apply ok now launch the game by double clicking bf6 event exe file from here itself and check your problem is fixed or not if not then right click on bf6 event exe file select properties go to compatibility tab now this time check mark run this program in compatibility mode for windows 8 hit apply ok now launch the game from here and check if that doesn't work then from drop down select windows 7 hit apply ok now launch the game from here and check if it's still not working then again go to compatibility tab now tick mark disable full screen optimization option hit apply ok now launch the game and check now when you check mark all this option in compatibility and still your problem is not fixed and untick all these boxes hit apply ok also untick run as administrator for this exe file hit apply ok and follow other fixes mentioned in this video fifth solution is to verify the game files to do so open steam right click on battlefield 6 open beta select properties go to install files click on verify integrity of beta files and after the verification of the files you can launch the game and check sixth solution is to install visual c++ files so go to this official website it is a microsoft official website now download both x86 and x64 version now once it is downloaded then run both the x64 and x64 6 version one by one now if you see repair option then repair it if you see install option then install it then again click on x86 version if you see repair option then repair it if you see install option then install it the x64 version has been installed successfully and x86 version is also installed successfully so now you can launch the game and check this has also fixed the issue for many players. So by this way you can fix Battlefield 6 crashing, not launching, not loading, stuck on loading screen, freezing or black screen issue on PC. So that's all for this video. If this video helped you then please like and share this video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel to get the latest updates. Thank you.